Sid Rosenblatt. Dog. Now the Dodgers are giving him the business. It's well deserved. Sid Rosenblatt. He's one of our. He's one of our fantasy campers. Oh boy, that's just awful. We love Sid. And we're very proud of him. But that's awful. And Rosowich is in the other corner. He would have made that yeah, play. He would have made that play easily. Oh, Doc. That's an embarrassment to all our fantasy camp. <laughs> you know? and we promise if you sign up for fantasy camp, folks, you won't become a bad ball player like Doc. <laughs> Play fantasy camp, just hit it to him and you'll get a double. <laughs> oh, Doc, we love you, but that was terrible. Good change up there. Come on, Doc. Doc? Hey! Oh, boy, Doc. Nice wow. one. Wow! I stand my applaud, Doc. That is fabulous. Excellent job. That's a nice grab by Doc. Look at all smiles out there. I don't know if he's smiling because he made that play or... Well, that might have to be a... Because the Dodgers are pounding around him. Man. <laughs> the Dodgers are... He, he loves his... Uh, hopefully he doesn't love him as much as he used to. 0 oh, and 2 the count. He knows who's likely to pull the ball down that way, which right-handers might slice one in his direction. Look at him play that carom. Oh, man. Those khakis have never looked better. Yeah, he's in there. I mean, we hear a lot about the players with their film work. I mean, I see Doc in the video room all the time asking for video on either left-handers or right-handers, depending on which line he's got. Pulls Charlie Nagy aside and asks how they're going to pitch some of these Rockies hitters. So make sure he's in the right spot. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail, as Coach Wooden once said. If they gave gold gloves, Doc would have a mantle full of them. The question becomes, who gets the ball? There it is. A kid. Always a kid. Oh boy, Doc. <laughs> and there's Barry Zins manning the left field position. Boy, he's locked in. High in the air to center, Kemp. Backs get two hits, but they strand two more. Sid Doc Rosenblatt. Part of the great staff here at Chase Field. We're through four. It's five up the Dodgers. Chris Owings at second, two down. Donald shoots that one down the right field line. Right at Doc Rosenblatt. Oh, wow, that one ate him up. He's 
Doc, Doc mm -hmm. earlier. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And I really think with every team kind of adopting, uh, you know, the, the guys down the right left field line, San Francisco, they call them the ball dudes. Mm -hmm. Get the best ones and send them to the All Star game. Doc would definitely be a candidate. One from each lead. Yeah, you know, you got a right field line and a left field line. Yeah, pick up one from the American League, one from the National League. I'm voting for Doc right now. Start the campaign. One and two. And Ventura, despite the electric radar gun readings, has not put up huge strikeout numbers. He's only had one double-digit strikeout game all year, in fact. Fiesnick places that one, and a tremendous catch down there. Doc Rosenblatt, how about that? The glove hand on Doc. That was a missile. Absolutely scolded down there. Doc Rosenblatt, wow. Look at those khakis move. Tell you what, uh, the mountain down the other side, Gregor Carr, has uh, got a lot to live up to after that performance. Wow. Two I've and two. Seen, I've seen right fielders run away from balls hit that hard. <laughs> Eastnick strikes out. That's well, there's no question that uh, Doc Rosenblatt has turned in on Chaz Roberts' air conditioning. Cool play of the game. Look at this. Rocket off the bat of Roger Kishnick, and there is Doc. Well, earlier this season, Doc was all offense, no defense, but he's worked really hard with Dave McKay and made a great play on that hooking line drive. Those defensive metrics have really improved. Didn't you should. <laughs> You're just Jimmy's type. Oh! Strike two. Paul Schreiner keeps Ender and CRT there, and it's a full count. Comeback sinker action on that inside corner. Jay Lamb uh, talking about the arsenal for Jimmy Nelson. He relies heavily on that sinking fastball, but his sliders is swinging and miss. Pit. saving your money for fantasy camp kangaroo court. So I got a feeling they're going to see that one again. Well, nice and close by Andrew Luciarte had a couple of knocks and a walk in the ball game last night. I mean, that's a great play, Doc. Unfortunately, it was a fair play. Now center field, number 11. Off the cold stone side, and Doc, with those fantasy camp reflexes, pounced on it. <laughs> It probably didn't cost Ender a base or anything, but still. That's something we'd encourage. A.J. Pollock, chance to get to Jimmy early here. Our going to lower down the left field line today, Doc Rosenblatt. Bob, I just found this out while we were, you know, getting soaked and freezing in Denver. Scott Dyer, Jeff Swanson, and Doc, they're fishing in Mexico. Come on. Look at this! How about that? What a trip that was, huh? Now, I'd expect that out of Scott Geyer, but not Doc Rosenblatt. I, I thought he'd be taking fungos and working out and, you know, practicing jumping off of that seat and pouncing on those foul <laughs> balls, but no! He's down there fishing. Come on. You and I are freezing cold, soaking wet in Denver. Geyer and Doc and Swanson are down there living like kings. <laughs> Austin Hedges leads off the fifth. Diamondbacks, some weirdness here, bottom one, Ender and Ciarte leading off, and he's going to hit this one down the left field line, watch the ball boy, that's a fair ball, kids, oh, that's a ball man, because he has facial hair, well that, he tries to hide behind the security guard, he should be embarrassed on a lot of levels, <laughs> on a lot of levels. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm told his name is Doc. We're not going to give him his last name or his phone number. But we'll give you his email address. How about Ryan Brawr? Oh, that's a
job, Doc. There is the Lizard King, Rodney Morrison, our left field Golden Glover today. Foster at third. Oh, Doc. That's the veteran, Sid Doc Rosenblatt down there. And Doc, that's his five hole. Doc is not happy. Oh, you can tell. That's not a veteran move. Back after a year hiatus. And maybe a little bit rusty still. Sid Doc Rosenblatt, our golden glover down the left field line. The 0 1 to Puig. Marino, the catcher, is the runner at second. Trey Turner with terrific speed at first. Look at a sports car following a semi truck. It's got a base clogger out there. Boy, Harper rips that one foul. And how about that play by Doc Rosenblatt, our Golden Glover down there? That's a tremendous play. Sid Doc Rosenblatt. That's a big league player right there. Well, I'll tell you, you check the metrics on ball dudes around the major leagues, and then Doc's going to be right at the top of the list. He can cover a lot of ground, soft hands, strong arm. It's all in there in the scouting report. Can't hit a lick. So he's got a glove on, one and two. Yanks, that one just fouled out of the first baseline. He homered here last night against Max Scherzer. behind Tony Diaz at first, and here we go. That is Sid, Doc Rosenblatt, our Golden Lovers. We got some veterans here tonight, baby. It's opening night. You've got Ron, don't call me Cliff Pennington down there at left. And the doctor is in, in right. There's Doc Rosenblatt. We, we couldn't go with rookies on opening night. Oh, no. We need established big league veterans down there. Run prevention is important opening day. <laughs> Nicely done. One and one. watching Nick Ahmed play right there in front of him at shortstop all summer. Here it is, 449 off the bat of Peralta. It is 25th of the year. Seen yet. Seen a lot of these. Not done much with it. That godly curveball. He's played there by Doc Rosenblatt, working the right field line today, our veteran Golden Glover. We saw Doc in L.A. He was at the Dodger Stadium. And there is a Ron, don't call me Cliff Pennington. Yeah, yeah. Left field. Doc, uh, yeah, was down at Dodger Stadium, said, doing some scouting. That's why we're ahead 7-1. <laughs> Ninth pitch of the at-bat on the way. He's down the line, and oh, there's Doc. Nice oh. play. Perfectly positioned. Nice going, Doc. Back in your jump seat. Doc always hosts some D-backs minor leaguers during spring training. He had a couple of pitches over at the house. Give a place to stay so they don't have to worry about it. Tenth pitch coming up. That godly eight straight set down. He's got four strikeouts. Doc Rosenblatt, he knows how to play the carom down there. That's a veteran. Doc has been with us for a long time. Finds it. Youngster in the seats. Nice job. They always try to eat it of for course. some reason. Yeah. <laughs> it's all food at that age. Yeah. Zone, not really trying to bury it in the dirt or get a swing. Take the at bat. 
with a 7 0 lead. Go back out there and work the ninth. Just foul at third. Here comes Doc Rosenblatt. Go get it, Doc. That's a veteran right yeah, there. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, and you hit it to Doc, you just look down and go ahead and write it in your book. You, know, you don't wait till the play's over because you know he's going to make the play. You and I saw Doc at the Dodger Stadium earlier this year. Wilmer sends one toward the left field corner. It's off the wall. Wilmer Flores, two for two, a one out double. And Scherfe can pick up an RBI. Way back in his early days in the minors. It never really healed for him. That's a foul ball at third and a chance right there for Doc. Rosenblatt is right on it. Gonzo, you coached him up. He's got, the, he's got the big glove today. He's got it going. <laughs> he does. Doc Rosenblatt, our golden glover in left field today, and we're crossed up in right field. We've got Lisa Cross on the other side. Here she is. She's ready to make the play out there in right field if we need her. She always is. 2-1 Pollock Mejia trying to get out of this first. Do it, young lady. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. She's learning how to keep score. That's awesome. Actually, her scorebook looks a lot better than mine. Uh, you look like you're doing okay over there. Jumps on this first one. A fastball and hook to foul. Doc Rosenblatt plays the carrot down there. Fastball one curve. We'll keep going with Christian. That's a curveball fouled away. Experience life as a big leaguer. It's D-backs fantasy camp. Spend the week. Well, spend the week with Gonzo. I mean, right there. That's where we're signing, right? Gracie will be there. Miguel Montero. It's Miggy time. Each camper gets a personalized uniform, hotel accommodations. Life like a big leaguer. Oh, hold on. That should say live like a big leaguer. It's at dmax.com slash fantasy camp. What does a, a week with you cost exactly? I'm not sure. The I'm money is sure. no option. No, I mean, it's, it's the experience you're going to get. Well, that's right. All the razzing you get from all the big league guys now, out there. Do you run the kangaroo court? Here's Gavin Lux. No, Mark Grace oh, is, is the, the official judge. Over, overruled. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. We have we have a great time. I mean that's a that's a big league deal. That's I mean that's legit major league uniforms that you're over at Salt River, right? The right on, the com on the complex, we get some uh, former big leaguers out there. Go back year after year, right? Dbacks.com slash fantasy camp for that. A real big league experience. What's the worst fine that you've ever seen in kangaroo court? Like, what, what, was, what was the transgression? Well, I think, first of all, you can't be afraid to make a mistake because there's a lot of mistakes that we made out there on the field. There's a lot of misplays, so, uh, and, there, and we always tell the campers, we've done it in the big league, so there's nothing to be afraid of. And we've got some great campers that have come year in and year out, and there's always room for some new ones. Reno on Gavin Lux, Chris Taylor in the on-deck circle. He went back in the pitcher spot. We're trying to warm it up in the LA. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and give one up. Uh -oh. You know, Doc was the uh, the gold glover out there against the Atlanta Braves series. Yeah, yeah. What happened? And I got a nice picture of him talking with Snicker in the uh, dugout oh, before the game, giving away the D-back secrets to the Atlanta Braves. Big fine right there. Doc should know better than that. And so rock to locks and now they're loaded. Here comes Taylor. That's going to cost you. Here's the, uh, can I show this on camera, Brian Moss? As uh, Taylor steps in, here's the picture uh, on Mark Grace's phone. Let's see. Yeah, yeah that's Doc yeah. Rosenblatt and the Braves manager, Brian Stinker. Uh, uh, that's uh, several hundred dollars, I think. <laughs> I hope Doc's saving his pennies <laughs> now for that one. Thank you, Mark Grace. Grace, he brought in his phone for the evidence. I think it's an open and shut case, frankly. It's got to be. Muncie at third, Turner at second, and Lux at first. That's out of play. Hey, fans, you can experience life as a big leaguer at d backs Fantasy Camp. That's right. Whose fantasy isn't spending a week with Luis Gonzalez? And oh, mine is. 
Mark Grace will be there. It'll be Mickey time, Miguel Montero. You can live like a big league or a D-backs fantasy camp. Personalized uniforms, the real deal, not a replica. Hotel accommodations, you will live like a major league player and play like one too at dbacks.com. Slash fantasy camp, January 9th through 4th at Salt River. It's a lot of fun. We spent a whole week with you and get to break bread and have fun in the clubhouse, play some games. I know you get repeat customers, right? Guys go back every year for years. We do, and it's also nice when we get new new players out there. You know, they get this, like you said, they put on big league uniforms. They get to practice and play on the actual fields that the D-backs play on. And it's just a lot of fun. Which are immaculate, by the way. Absolutely. And then, and then these guys become friends. We're, we're friends with them for the rest of your life. Whether you want to be or not, you're going to be our friend. <laughs> Great characters out there. <laughs> There's no escape. <laughs> I mean, we got our kangaroo court judge, Mark Grace. Doc is this. Doc still goes fancy camp. Doc's out play. there every year. He, he used to be a high pick. Now he's a comp, uh, compensation pick. I oh, think. well, he's <laughs> been downgraded, huh? <laughs> Scouts are a little down on him. Uh, no, we still love Doc. He's, he's the best. Doc, our golden lover, working left field today, a fantasy camp regular. We used to find him at the old Cracker Jacks, hitting in the cages over there, right before the season starts for uh, fantasy camp. He looks like a big leaguer. Well, I'm sure that work every year helps him out maintain his position with the Gold Glovers. It does. He, he, he's lost that first step a little bit. He may have lost the second step as well, but he's hanging in there. Full count. Widener in trouble now. He's walked to batter. He's hit a batter. He's running full on Lux. There's Taylor on deck. are expected or were expected to get Austin Nola back any day now, their number one catcher. Oh, Doc Rosenblatt, a Golden Glover down the left field line. That ball just ate him up. Now, Doc, that's a that's a bad hop. Doc, we got Golden Glovers back in the house now. Here's Doc Rosenblatt. Oh! So you can't let the ball play you, right? It just didn't account for the English. That ball had a lot of side spin. I don't think that mask offers much protection. There's a Bruce wax eye lights off. Our Golden Glover down the right field line. Good to have the nicknames back. Got the roof open, panels open, an absolutely perfect night. Got fans in the stands, Golden Glover's on the field. Good guys winning two to nothing. <laughs> just keeps getting better. Good to be us. <laughs> Tony Randazzo felt that one. Hey, they're looking for a ground ball right here. And instead, they get a foul ball. Just foul down the right field line. But he wrote that one. But fortunately, for the D-backs, he went foul. He covered that pulled it, top spin line drive. I think the win. First pitch to him is line, and that's a foul ball. Now the right field now. It's too hard to pause this thing by the left-handed hitters. Emilio Pagala to Minnesota. They got Taylor Rogers to be the closer. Another foul down there to third. And a chance for our Golden Glover. We start off this year with Doc Rosenblatt. Sid Doc Rosenblatt, our Golden Glover down the left field line. And the doctor is in. It's David Van Ness, Dr. Van Ostrick. <laughs> from the clinic. <laughs> uh, again on 3-2. And again, it's fun. I think Doc's been a gold runner since opening day in 98. Well, we started with the Dr. Van Doster, and I think with dueling doctors. We have Doc Rosenblatt and David Van Ness. It's number 10 of the at bat all the way here to Hassan Kim. Let's the ball go. That's foul down at first as we get a word from 72 Soul. Hey, baseball fans, with 72 Soul, you can sell your. Paul Harris and Acuna. Just foul at first before Dave McKay down there. Chance for Doc Rosenblatt, who's right there. Two 
you get the World Series champs in here, you need, you know, you need your frontline guys down there. And that, of course, is Doc and Hunt. Well, right now on Valley Sports Arizona's Facebook page and YouTube channel. Oh, what an attempted play by Doc. Is he okay? <laughs> That's Doc Rosenblatt who really laid out for that one. Missed it by that much. What an effort. Watch Doc Rosenblatt. Okay. <laughs> he got it all set up. Look at the hops. He got almost three inches off the ground. Couldn't slide a dime <laughs> under his shoes. <laughs> tell you what, these Golden Glovers <laughs> turned into a vaudeville act. <laughs> e ten. Everybody has props now. That's outstanding. <laughs> three two. There goes Longo. Gabby punches it down the line. Oh, what a play right there by Doc Rosenblatt. How about that? You talk about a veteran presence in the lineup, and that is it. Sid Doc Rosenblatt, the play of the year for the Golden Glovers. What a way, Sid. All right, Doc. Put that on the highlight reel. I mean, Doc, he didn't panic, didn't move, just played it cool as a cucumber down there. One more chance for Gabby. When they needed it. Verlander walked three of the first eight batters he faced today. Here he comes. It is a breaking ball. It's good on the line. Now that breaking ball was supposed to start away and miss over the top. That's where you're going to swing and miss. But right now, Seager has not missed anything over the middle of the plate. There's the breaking ball. See how it pops out of his hand? Too close to the inside part of the plate.